Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zon Ta of Repro Products. This screencast will showcase the Manage Links command within Revit 2017. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zon Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. I have a Revit model open. If we head over to the Insert tab of the ribbon in the Links panel, there is a command for Manage Links. When you select it, you will receive the Manage Links window. In here, the way this is set up is it has several tabs for different types of files that you can link into your Revit project. You have the Revit tab, the IFC tab, Industry Foundation class, the CAD Formats tab, the DWF markups, and the point clouds. Depending on what type of file you are importing in, linking in, you'll see that information will show up in that respective tab. For example, under CAD formats, you'll see we have a CAD drawing called Roof Detail that's already been loaded. Likewise, if you go to the Revit tab, you'll also see another file called ARC, and this file is also linked into this current file. Now, you'll also notice in this list that shows all of the different objects that are linked in, the commands below may or may not be grayed out. If they're grayed out, that just means that you have to select the object you want to work with first. For example, arc.rbt. When I select it, you'll notice that some of the commands are no longer grayed out. You have reload from. This allows you to reload the file if it was moved to a different location on the server. And so you just browse to that location and select it and click open, and it will reload it from that new location. You can also click reload, which is the same thing as typing in RL, reload latest. And what this does is it basically looks for that arc.rbt file on your server and refreshes the data to this current Revit file, the host file. You can obviously unload it. And this is a good feature to have because there may be a situation where you're working on a Revit project that say is a site plan and it could be of a campus and there's tons of buildings on that campus. Well, each building would most likely be its own separate Revit model, and you could have a long list of Revit models linked in. If your objective is to only work on a certain Revit model, you can actually take the other ones and unload them so that it doesn't Revit doesn't have to process that data. You can click Add, and it will give you the ability to link other Revit files um, directly from the Manage Links window, therefore adding to this list. And then you can remove as well. And if you remove this, then it's going to actually give you a warning to let you know you um, cannot undo this. Um, and it basically takes the arc.rbt file out of this host file. Depending on, again, what type of files you have to work with and what you have already loaded, you may have additional features as well. Within the columns that show the data, It'll list things such as the status, whether it's loaded or unloaded. The reference type uh, is either overlay or attachment, which is similar to the X referencing overlay and attach. Positions not saved means this arc model, its coordinate position and where it sits on this host file has not been basically um, tied to this particular file. Therefore, the position isn't uh, known. The save path obviously lists the location of where the file sits on your server or wherever it resides. And then the path is relative. Uh, you can choose relative or absolute. The default is relative, so that way if you have to take this file and other files that make up this entire Revit model, um, you can take all of them, zip them up, and send them to somebody. And as long as all those files are in one location, one subfolder, for example, on the server, then the links will hold and it'll just look at that relative uh, root path like that. If it's absolute, then it means it's going to look at the UNC pathing and it'll have to be specifying the correct mapping letter, for example, Z drive, and the correct subfolders to get to that particular linked file. Um, and that basically, in essence, is the manage links window. You can click OK to get out of the window or click cancel to un to disregard any changes that you've made in the actual Manage Links window.
and lastly you can click help to get more information about managed links if you have a Revit file that's linked in that has work sets you can actually click manage work sets because it'll it won't be grayed out and then again if the coordinates have been uh, specified for this particular linked file then the save positions command will no longer be grayed out and you can click it and then it will put a check mark in this little box here to let you know that that position has been saved to that linked Revit file. Thank you very much for watching.